What's happening, sports fans? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We have a good one for you today. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I was really not going to do much on this story, but it actually gained some leverage in the last couple of days. USC Heisman Trophy winner, quarterback Caleb Williams, who's actually probably the front runner at this time. Uh, a resurfaced story that was reported back in July by Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk was saying that he and his representatives were telling NFL teams in this upcoming draft, if he was their guy, that he was going to request an ownership stake in the team. Uh, well, that was actually debunked uh, by the NFL because that's they said that that you know current players that's that's currently playing won't be able to own an ownership stake in the team. Uh, but I'm gonna read from that actual article pro, from Pro Football Talk. It says that again, the NFL curiously has slammed the door on teams giving equity to players or employees before anyone ever actually tried to do it. Since posting an item on the issue earlier tonight, again, this was back in July, we've caught wind of two players who were hoping to score a slice of ownership per multiple sources. The representatives of USC quarterback Caleb Williams have been making it known to prospective agents that Williams wants a partial ownership of the team that selects him in 2024 if he declares for the draft. Likewise, a league source would tell Pro Football Talk that quarterback Aaron Rodgers attempted to secure equity in the, his contract discussions with the Jets. But again, uh, the NFL debunked this and said it ain't happening. That ain't, even, that ain't the collective bargaining agreement won't allow that. Well, Dov Kleiman, uh, would retweet this a couple of days ago, I guess to, to, to give it some win after Williams' performance versus Notre Dame. Obviously, he did not play well, had three interceptions, only completed 62% of his passes, and they took the L to Notre Dame 48-20. But it still does bring up a good question. Will players try to leverage themselves to buy into a team uh, that drafts them. Now, I don't think it'll ever happen because to me, there's a conflict of interest there. A, what if said player needs to be traded? Does he have to sell back his ownership stake back to the team? Will he be able to make decisions when it comes to releasing players, trading for players, drafting players? I don't see that happening. It just wouldn't be in the CBA. And then A, NFL owners is like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're not selling any ownership stake to a team, uh, player that is currently playing and definitely doesn't on our roster. So it sounds good in theory. Could it eventually happen? You never say never, but I don't see that happening in any professional sport, not until said player is retired. But a current player buying, having an ownership stake in the team, I don't see that happening. I'd like to know what you guys think of this story and think of will that ever happen. I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you drop a comment as well. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I am out. Peace.